Does everybody know what time it is? It's pumpkin time! Anyone ever watch Home Improvement? I just sounded like I was trying to introduce tool time. No, it wasn't intentional, but there you have it. I'm Kat, by the way. This is Inferior Adventure Channel. And in today's episode, we're back at Silver Dollar City. There's the big pumpkin decorations. I remember the one with the blue on it from last year, but I think the white one's new. I don't remember that orange one either. It's the plainest one. They probably had it before. I just got jump scared by a new character wandering around. They have a scarecrow this year. Gotcha. <laughs> Definitely my favorite decorations out of any festival here. And that's not even one of the giant pumpkins. You know, I might do that this festival. I'm so picky that ordinarily they don't have enough stuff that I would want to do it. It wouldn't make sense. A couple of good looking things this time though. Paper lanterns on the canopy this time. This looks pretty cool now, but I wonder how it'll hold up after it rains a few times. And if you'll notice, if you come out here during this festival, every single one of their pumpkins are themed. These, for example, are right next to the blacksmith shop. There we go, pumpkins in the city. I love that banner. Should it be called a banner? Archway, that's what I meant to say. That's an archway. Okay, remember how I just said that all the pumpkins here are themed? Maybe I lied. There are, I think, eight of these hidden around the park and I just found one. I'm not going to show you guys where they are, just in case anyone wants to come out here yourselves and find them. But there you have it. Little mouse pumpkin. Who'd have thought I would have been searching for hidden Mickeys at Silver Dollar City, huh? And I'm looking everywhere for them. Even in this little canopy, just in case. Well, that's the cutest thing ever. I'm pretty sure it's new this year, too. Still three hours until the pumpkin carver. Definitely want to see that this year. I've hardly showed any of the carved pumpkins yet this year. <laughs> Imagine if I showed all of them. That'd be a 10 hour long video. I am going to come back a couple times for this festival though. I'll show some more then. Hey, there's number two. And there's Gordy. I did not come up with that myself, by the way. That actually is his name. Mouse number three. I mean, I know you guys can still kind of tell where they are just based on what area that I'm in, what I've been showing around them. But I'm not going to tell you exactly. No spoilers. Oh, that old guy that was right behind me is cute. They have pumpkin soft serve this year. I bet that's good. Kind of glad I came on a gloomy looking day. Everything's so cool looking. Four, five, six. Was the spider always holding two other spiders? I do not remember that. Seven. Eight and nine? Well, on the podcast that I listened to, they said there were eight. I guess there's more than I thought. Ten. Eleven. 12, 13, 14, 14, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. 15, oh, well, this is just getting ridiculous. The bats are fancy this year. They have some new glitter vests on. What is this, 85? I lost count by now. Well, here we are. Time for the part that I look forward to every year. Uh-oh, no more cow. I guess they took him in for repairs. Here we are, the Garden of Giants. 
first on our list, we have Gord in Gargantuan weighing in at an earth-shaking 100, oh, 1,156 pounds okay. of imposing size. Next up, we have Granddaddy Jack tipping the scales at a walloping 1,134 pounds. Harvey S. Fest, a noteworthy solid 1,179 pounds. That one's actually really pretty. I love the color. So far, I like the names better last year, though. Pumpkin, a blue ribbon heavyweight at 1302 pounds. Next up, Ginormous Jenny, plumping up at a big league. 1,007 pounds. That one's a really pretty color, too. Marvelous Mary, the pick of the patch. 1432, the biggest one so far. Kind of funky shape. You can get lost in there. Hugo Divine, right next to the please don't touch me sign. Just saw a guy touching that very one. It was 1,088 pounds, by the way. And last but not least, illustrious Ichabod weighing in at a voluminous 1,298 pounds. I wonder how thick the skins are on those things. Has anyone ever tried to make a jack o lantern out of one, for example? I would love to try that, but there's no way I'm spending the time and effort to grow one or paying the money to buy one. So that's just an experiment that someone else can do. Your fortune today. Wherever you go, there you'll be. I confess, I kind of helped it along today. The wind had blown it. It would not stop. I have never noticed this fountain before. That's a really cool fountain. All right, guys. Time for lunch. What am I going to get? Got a couple of options here. Buffalo chicken grilled cheese. Yeah, I think I'll go with that. And here we have it. They gave me the full portion. Uh-oh, you guys. All it said on the menu was buffalo chicken and grilled cheese, but there's something white on there. An undisclosed something or other. I don't know. I think it's just butter. It doesn't smell like ranch. And why would they put mayonnaise on a grilled cheese? Okay, I sniffed it again, and I'm pretty sure it's just butter. Like a lot of butter. Also, it looks like it's a little bit more melty now. I guess we'll go ahead and try this thing. Which might be interesting, as I don't have my tripod with me today. Not bad, aside from it trying to fall apart on me. Trying to eat with one hand. The chicken on it actually is really good. Can barely taste the buffalo sauce. As you saw, it's very buttery. And for a grilled cheese, it could have at least one more slice of cheese on it. But all in all, meats with my approval. I still think I like the steak sandwich better though. And now time for the side dish. I know I've said before that this isn't my favorite place here, but it smells so good in here today, you guys. There's what I'm after. The everything toasted garlic knots. Here they are, along with the rest of my sandwich. I will admit, I saw these on a video the other day from Dollywood and I wanted to try them. It comes with pumpkin cheese sauce. I'm probably not going to try any of that. In the video the other day, they said it was interesting. I mean, I'm not a fan of cheese sauce anyway. And pumpkin cheese sauce? Yeah, I don't know, you guys. But here we go with the bread. Yeah, that's really good. 
We got some everything bagel seasoning on there and a lot of garlic. Honestly, it'd be kind of great if they kept these year round. Just changed out the dip with each festival, you know? I did smell of it. Honestly, it just smells like pumpkin. It's not the pumpkin part that worries me. It's that fake cheese. With what the price of those things would have been, that tasting passport's already almost paid for itself, you guys. And I think that's gonna do it for today. There's still so much stuff to do out here that I'm gonna have to come back at least two more times to this festival. Hope you guys had fun. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Well, this is just getting ridiculous.